Well, good morning. It's a Friday morning, and we are getting ready to uh, pour tomorrow on a Saturday. And uh, so they're just finishing up. I'll turn around here and you can see. They're finishing up here on the pad. And uh, some of the things that we're doing now uh, in preparation is, I'm gonna turn the camera around, so hold on. So yesterday we had the building, Morton building guy on site, and he showed us uh, how to place all of the bolts, 102 of them, that are gonna be holding the building down along the perimeter. Here's our corner bolt right here, right next to the garage door. And those are all being set as we, as I speak. And then they're just finishing up the, the last punch list from the architect that I had discussed earlier. But uh, one of the things that's being done by the concrete guy is right here is the concrete right where it goes into the garage, garage doors, sits about a half inch lower, or an, actually an inch lower, than the rest of the concrete. And so what that allows you to do is when the garage door comes down, it actually comes down inside that inch inch and seals the inside from the outside so you can't you won't have a dust blowing under the door because it's sitting in a in a concrete trough and uh, so that's pretty cool so that was one of the things that the concrete guy does that actually was not in my plans or actually it wasn't the plans but I didn't realize it until looking at them the other thing I didn't mention in our previous videos is what we talked about the steel going in and it's down here two foot two and a half foot and all these beams and there's what one two three four five six beams in the outer perimeter well my concrete guy was just here I mean the actual slurry the concrete mixed guys with their trucks says that they've calculated because of all of these beams there's about 250 yards of concrete that's going to be poured tomorrow. I thought it was closer to 150, but he's actually saying between 250 and 270 is their calculations based upon these beams. So, going to be a lot of a lot of concrete pouring, and so they're going to be getting out here at 4 a.m. to get the pump truck. So the pump truck is going to be sitting where our trucks are right now. And then he'll he'll actually have a big pump that will actually be pumping to the back of the of the pad back here and they're gonna start at 4 a.m. so it'll be bitch, uh, pitch black because the Sun doesn't come up till about 652 tomorrow so they're gonna be working in the dark for almost three hours to get all this concrete done so they're gonna be pumped like as I said pumping in the dark for almost three hours and uh, the trucks have 10 yards on there so we'll have about 25 to 27 trucks of concrete coming in the concrete company owns seven trucks so they're gonna be pretty busy just rotating around and that's why Saturday morning they really like because the traffic's not as heavy and being able to get all that done so hopefully they'll be done by noon the issue that we're fighting is that there's a storm coming in and it was supposed to hit today, Friday, and uh, it's not here. Now they're saying tomorrow, and, but the precipitation percentage is going down. So right now it's showing around 10% at noon. So hopefully they'll get done pouring by noon and it'll set up before it really rains hard. So that's what we're hoping. And that's the plan. Of course, the concrete guys will call it tomorrow morning if the storm rolls, rolls in early. So that's kind of where we're at. So. Talk to you later. Thanks, and have a great day.